What's good with y'all? It's Draco with another video, and today we're doing a bald fade. So how I start off my bald fades is um obviously starting off with my bald line. As you can see, I'm putting in my bald line here. I take this to about like the middle half of the head, and then uh I uh, start with the other side of the head and then bald out everything underneath. And this client actually has pretty like rough hair, so I actually have to really like sit here and like lift the skin and pick at his hair because his hair is pretty uh, rough underneath, and it, it takes a couple like passes to really get it as bald as I want to get it. So, yeah, I, <clears throat> you, you can see me picking at it here and doing all this uh, crazy stuff. Um, some people you just you know pass the trimmer once and it's balded out. And yeah, this is just the first step. You know, bald line, figure out your placement, and then bald out everything underneath this line. Now, for the second step in this bald fade tutorial, I'm going to be using my box shaver here to bald out everything that my trimmer just balded out even more because the trimmer does get it lower than, uh, or the box shaver does get it lower than a trimmer. And there's going to be a little line you guys see here, um, and that's going to be the trimmer line. And all you do to take that line out is you use your uh, trimmer right in that little area. You want to make sure you're not taking this uh, box shaver to the line you created um you want to keep it like about an inch under and you can see here with the trimmer that i am actually uh balding out that line that i just created with the box shaver with this trimmer and if there's little dark spots or things you can't get with the trimmer the trimmer's not getting it out in this little area just go ahead and use the corners of your box shaver it should come right out all right so for this third guideline i'm going to be taking my clipper open about a half inch all the way around the head and I'm going to make sure this line is nice and set here. You know, really get in there with that clipper open and, and uh, you know, make sure everything is at that length. And then once you do that, to fade this line out, what you want to do is slowly close your lever and attack this half inch. And every single time you close your lever, lever and adjust it, you want to go lower in this half inch of space until it's completely faded out. What I like to do is um, I like to just go straight to the second. Uh, I, have, I have a clicky lever, so I can click it on the second notch. And uh, I usually just kind of not even use the third notch. I just kind of skip that. But I would say, you know, take your time. Use each notch or like, you know, one third of the way closed. You know, like just play with it slowly by uh, little by little. And so you fade that line out. And eventually you should get all the way to... Uh, clipper closed you want to take that all the way to clipper closed and once it's closed you should have that line completely faded out you know just using the corners and flicking out um once that lever is all the way closed that line should be completely erased the next step in this fade is putting on my one guard you know one guard follows the no guard you can even use the half guard here but i like to do my one and I'll probably close it all the way eventually because um, I just know that uh, the one guard close is not going to take out this line. I'm going to have to use my half guard to get this line out. So it doesn't really matter if I close the lever all the way with this one. You know, it, it'll just save you time. Um, but if you want to play it safe, I'd say, you know, go uh, lever open for sure. And we want to do the exact same steps we did with the uh, no guard open. You know, you want to go about a half an inch with this one guard. And then to get this line out, you want to, you know, close the one slowly but surely all the way until it's fully closed. And it won't actually blend out this line. That's why you use the half guard. And once you use that half guard, it's going to uh, blend that one into the no guard, right? But you got to play with this lever. And this is actually one of the hardest steps in fading. Like, you know, it took me a couple months to get this step, like, right? But once you master this step right here, you got fading down. You know, it's, it's pretty much as simple as one, two, three. Um... But yeah, this half guard is going to blend this straight no guard into the one guard. And it's going to look real nice and blurry. After we've completed all those steps, we only really have one more guard to fade into, which is the one and a half guard. And you guys should be able to fade the one and a half guard into the one guard in your sleep because they're literally not even a full step between each other. You know, it's only a half step. So as long as you don't, you know, close the clipper all the, the way and, uh, and uh, you know, patch them or whatever, you should be straight. But at this part in particular, you know, you got the no guard and the one and then the half all faded into each other so what you're going to be doing here is debulking this parietal ridge area like that very dark section in his head 
I'm going here with a two guard and I'm just lightening up this area. You know, it might not lighten up too much, but it actually is lightening it up. You can tell there's a very hard liner. There's a very hard separation between his uh his uh faded hair and the dark hair. So all I'm trying to do is blend this dark hair into the hair that's already faded underneath. So I'm taking my two, I'm gonna lighten it up, and I'm getting ready for my one and a half guard. And my one and a half guard is gonna do the magic here. My one and a half guard is gonna get all this hair blended in to the point where all I have to do is run my one guard through this and maybe a little bit of play with the half guard. But for the most part, once this once this uh one and a half guard does its job here and lightens up this area for me, I'll be able to just run it back over with the one guard and it should be completely blended out. One thing I will add, though, is even if you followed all these steps perfectly, the haircut itself might not come out perfect. You still might see some dark spots, some inconsistencies in the hair. And with all that being said, you just want to take whatever space, you know, if it's the one guard space and you see a little bit of darkness in there, take that one guard and kind of like play with the lever until you flick out that darkness. You don't want any like weird dark spots in a haircut, you know. Um, the difference between a good haircut and a great haircut is details. So just sweat the details. And, you know, if you have to use a zero guard to flick out into some one space or vice versa, you know, just figure, figure it out and just kind of just go slow, slowly, uh, little by little. And so you uh, start to blend out those dark spots or inconsistencies. All right. Once the fade is all set, you know, you move on to the lineup and the lineup is uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but we can we can get in depth with it. So the vertical bars. You kind of just want to follow like the natural pattern they already have. You don't want to push these back too deep. You know, the vertical bars are pretty easy. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty hard to mess up a vertical bar. The only way you can really mess up a vertical bar is if you push it back too much or if you put out a weird angle. So just make sure it's at a pretty good angle and just don't push their bars back too uh, far. And that's pretty much it for the vertical bars. Then when you move on to the actual lineup, I like to start in the middle and either go left or right. So... When you start the lineup, do not start at the corner. Start in the middle and take that line, you know, like I said, either left or right. And then when you're going to go the other direction, you want to start at the middle and go the other direction. And you want to keep tapping this lineup until it's straight. You know, the first time the first time pass, you might not get it. You might have to sit there and, and uh, be cautious and take it little by little up on one side or a little up in the middle. It just takes time. So I would just say be patient with the lineup and... Uh, and yeah, just make sure you're starting in the middle and making that line as straight as possible to that corner and then vice versa. And just don't be scared to just keep tapping it until you're satisfied with the lineup itself. So here I was actually trying something I never did before. I was actually fading up my client's beard and I have faded up beards, but he wanted this fade pretty low on his beard. You know, he wanted a really like he wanted that fade to really be on like basically like his cheekbone. And that's not something I'm really used to doing. So I had to kind of like improvise and take it little by little. So all I'm doing is debulking until I can see some kind of like lightness in this dark beard he has here, right? So all I'm trying to do is lighten this stuff up so that I can just do my normal fade steps that I did on his head and his beard. Um, but yeah, you know, everything under that ear, like that earring, I can usually probably use a one guard all the way up. Right here, I'm balding it out. So I know, okay, my bald line is here. And I'm going to uh, fade this out like like I did his normal fade, but I'm going to be doing this downward instead of upward, you know. So bald line first, half guard, one guard, one and a half guard, two guard. There you go. It's all blended up. Uh, it's easier said than done. Um, you kind of just have to be experienced to kind of do this because I feel like, you know, this is definitely not beginner level stuff. Like like I said before, like even I had to like kind of like engineer or figure out how to do this. So uh, this was my first time doing it and it came out pretty decent in my opinion. And my client was satisfied. So that's all that matters at the end of the day. As long as they're satisfied with the cut, you know, that's, that's all that matters to me. And then lastly, the best finishing touch tool, the razor blade. All I'm going to say for the razor blade is make sure you have a comfortable handle and um, make sure you're stretching the skin out whenever you use this razor. That's probably the most important tip. You know, if you're a beginner with the razor, just take it slow. Um, practice on a balloon with uh, shaving cream. Make sure you don't pop it. But there's not really much I can, not really too many pointers I can give with a razor, I feel like. Like, you really just have to put the practice in. But like I said, you know, stretch the skin. Make sure you're always holding the razor at an angle. Over time, your razor blade works going to get better and better. And I just, yeah, like I said, something that comes with time. So don't sweat it. Just take things little by little. It's okay if your first haircuts don't come out perfect. Mine's didn't. Um, this is a thing that'll take you, you know, a year or two to even get 
comfortable or you know build confidence in so just be patient but yeah y'all yeah, pretty much wraps up this video and i'm out